Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 30. We are just two weeks from NXT TakeOver in your house. Let's get straight into the action. Tom Phillips, Nigel McGinnis, and Steve Crino welcome us to NXT. Tom Phillips says that tonight on NXT we're going to have one hell of a show. The camera stands on them for a second as we fade to ringside, which will feature four of the NXT UK brand talent with the winner facing Tyler Bate at NXT TakeOver in your house for that NXT United Kingdom Championship. So let's see, uh, let's see who wins here. Usually I book winners and losers. I did not book this Fatal 4 Ways winner. So we're going to see exactly who the game who the game wants to face Tyler Bate. And here we go. And a terrible match with a 16 rating. Trent Seven defeats Mark Haskins, Pete Dunn, and Mark Andrews in 15 minutes when Trent Seven defeats Mark Haskins by pinfall with a 7 stars Lariat. Uh, Mark Andrews better game. The crowd were totally turned off by having a match of jobbers. Well, that's not great. We're gonna have to work on that for NXT Takeover. Uh, in your house, they were absolutely not over. Maybe I will give them 20 popularities, kind of cheat a little bit, and give them a 20 popularity so at least they can open up the show. That's not good. All right then. It'll be Trent Seven versus Tyler Bate. We got a glorious promo hyping Bobby Roode and his championship match against Drew McIntyre at NXT TakeOver in your house. Bobby Roode, the former NXT champion, will be cashing in his rematch opportunity to face Drew in just two weeks. Next, we see a video hyping Ember Moon taking on Peyton Royce for the NXT Women's Championship at NXT TakeOver in your house. All right, and in the next match... Bridges defeats Kimberly in five minutes by submission. Bridges with the victory over Kimberly here tonight on NXT. She'll be facing Candice LeRae at NXT TakeOver in your house. Next, Curtis Axel and Drew McIntyre are backstage. An argument breaks out and they start fighting with each other. A host of road agents and staff have to pull them apart. William Regal, having been nearby, hears this walks up and says that if they want to fight so badly, they're going to do it in an NXT ring. No, go get ready. You two ladies are fighting next. All right, next, Andrade Siano is in the ring again, prepping for his open challenge. Almost says that he's been unmatched as of yet, so tonight he's going to do exactly what he does. Parte. But first, he's going to issue yet another open challenge. So, says Almost, who would it be? He lists parts of the NXT roster before dropping his mic, standing in the ring, prepping himself for who he's going to fight next. Adam Cole, baby! The fans go nuts as Adam Cole's new theme hits and he debuts on top of the ramp as almost looks at the referee and begins telling him he's not even fighting. Is he even in NXT? In NXT? Apparently he didn't see TakeOver. As Cole makes his huge entrance down the ramp and onwards the ring, almost gets out of the ring and slowly begins walking up the ramp causing the fans to boo him louder. Almost wants none of the debuting Adam Cole here on NXT who has a mic in hand. Cole says, come on Andrade, Adam Cole is here baby, let's get it on. Almas walks through the curtain to the back as the fans boo, almost leaving Adam Cole high and dry. But Adam Cole has debuted here on NXT TV, NXT TV and he'll be a featured player going forward. If you all remember, we saw him at NXT TakeOver in the back at Brooklyn. He didn't say much, but he's officially a part of NXT's roster. All right, next, the camera finds Triple H entering the arena. Last time we saw Triple H, he was with Tino Sabatelli, and behind him again, Tino Sabatelli. They pair, walk into Regal's office. The pair walks into Regal's office. What is this about? We'll have to find out. Next, in an extremely short match, Drew McIntyre defeats Curtis Axel in five minutes by pinfall with a future shock. Drew McIntyre, the NXT champion, gets the victory over Curtis Axel. Um, they have great chemistry, which is fantastic, probably from their WWE days. And it's a good thing because Drew McIntyre needed a high-class warm-up for Bobby Roode as NXT TakeOver in your house is just two weeks away. Next week on NXT, though, we're going to see all members of the NXT Money in the Bank score off on a six-man tag, as well as Hideo Itami a tag teaming with Candice LeRae in a mixed tag to take on Crow and Bridges of the Crow's Nest. Hideo Itami and Crow facing off at NXT TakeOver in your house, as indicated earlier, as is Candice and Bridges. All right, and in the main event, in the number one contender match to see who faces the Authors of Pain at NXT TakeOver in your house, DIY defeats TM61 and Blake and Murphy in 16 minutes. TM61 first, then Blake and Murphy. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa will be facing the Authors of Pain, and I can promise you that there will be no breaking up of DIY in my save. At least not yet. So that'll be NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 30. Let's see what our rating was. Hopefully it was passable. It was not passable. That's okay. I figured given the 
awful uh, opening UK fiddle four-way between seven Haskins and Dunn and Andrews. It was going to be a little lower, but that's all right. This was NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 30. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in a couple days with the Go Home Show to NXT TakeOver in your house.